If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question on your own before listening on. We can begin to solve this question by drawing a picture of the scenario. So we have the car colored in blue with an initial velocity of 0 meters per second and the truck colored in red with an initial and constant velocity of 9.5 meters per second. The truck is of course going to whiz past the car and leave it behind, but after a while the car will catch up and overtake the truck and we're trying to figure out what that displacement is. Now we can come up with expressions for the displacement of the car and the truck using our kinematics formulas. Now for the car, as noted, the initial velocity is zero, so that's going to eliminate this term. For the truck, once again, it's traveling with a constant speed, so that means the acceleration is zero. We can therefore knock out this term, so both equations simplify. Now from the picture, we can see that the displacements will be equal. Once the car reaches the truck and overtakes it, the displacement of both vehicles will be equal. So we can set these two expressions for displacement equal to one another. So we have an equation that we can solve for time. And to do that, we could divide both sides of the equation by t. We could then multiply both sides of the equation by 2. And finally, divide both sides by a, the acceleration of the car. Now, we recall that the red corresponds to the values for the truck, and the blue are the values for the car. The car was accelerating at a rate of 2.2 meters per second squared, and the initial velocity of the truck was 9.5 meters per second, so we can plug in and solve for time. And when we do that, we get approximately 8.6 seconds. So that's going to represent the time at which the car finally overtakes the truck, but of course we didn't want that. We wanted to know how far beyond, so we need to figure out the delta x. We can bring back the following equation. Now this was the equation we had developed for the truck, but the time for the car and the truck will be the same. It's the 8.6 seconds, so we can plug that in for time. And again, the initial velocity of the truck was 9.5 meters per second. And when we simplify that, we get approximately 82 meters. So that indeed is the correct answer to part a. Now to calculate how fast the automobile will be traveling at this instant, we can use the following equation from kinematics. Note again we're using blue for the car values. The initial velocity of the car was zero, so that's going to take out this term. And we're left with the final velocity equaling the acceleration times the time, so we can plug in the known values. And when we compute this, we see the final velocity of the car is approximately 19 meters per second, so that is indeed the correct answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you'd like to, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen, and I will do my best to post a solution to it on YouTube.